Ok, ya. Hello. This paper is part of the research carried out within the framework of the PAPIT project, Digital Transformation in the Automotive Supply Chain in Mexico, financed by the National University of Mexico, in which one of its integral parts aims to explain the influence of public policies and industrial policy on the development and success of the Mexican automotive industry. Jorge Carreto Sanginés is the PI of the project and Alejandra Patino, both are professors at the Faculty of Economics and Jasmin Solares is an undergraduate project fellow. The automotive industry in Mexico faces several new threats beyond those posed by the new trade agreement with the United States and Canada and the impact of the digital transformation. These new threats derive mainly from the disruption of global chains after the COVID-19 pandemics, the change towards electrification and its impact on parts, suppliers and labor. And the war in Ukraine that is changing the world geopolitical context in the world, the inflation and the impending recession. There are challenges ahead as well as opportunities that require a structural transformation of the Mexican industry to face them successfully. The transformation will not come about by market adjustments at alone. Adequate policy measures are needed, especially in a strategic sector like the automotive. According to INEGI, it is the second most important industry and it accounts for about 3.9% of gross domestic product. It is a significant source of employment characterized by a higher wage level given its qualification, experimentation, and training of its workforce, and the development of suppliers at the local level. Its tax collection, collection is one of the highest at the national, at national level, given its foreign trade operations and technological modernization, making this industry the basis of national development. The industrial policy in the case of the automotive industry in Mexico has left what should be national coordination in local hands. Currently, the state governments dictate the policy under the influence of large automotive and auto parts companies, leading to a competition to win more significant and better resources of FDI derived from the installation of large automotive firms. The so-called automotive decrees have constituted, constituted what may be considered the primary regulation of industrial policy concerning the automotive sector. Under the lead of national, multinational OEMs, the automotive industry in Mexico has been at the forefront of the development of technologies and innovative production models. The decision-making of OEMs has influenced the design of public policies at the different levels of government, federal and estatal. In general, the industrial policy at the national level in Mexico is not fully coordinated with policy at the local level. Its objectives are mainly focused on generating a series of guidelines for promoting human capital and financing highlighting aspects related to the strengthening domestic enterprises. Relations between production and imports and minimum proportion of national or regional content and restrictions on foreign investment, among others. In some industries, the policy has proposed specific strategies without being able to land them in concrete programs, denoting an action plan consistent with the objectives to be achieved. Such is the case in the strategic plan of automotive industry 2012-2020, with which no more significant results more see. State governments dictate the final direction to be taken by industrial policy for the automotive sector in Mexico. In some states, where the presence of large automotive OEMs is decisive for their economic development level of investment and generation of jobs, their influence permits the whole society, making them the core of economic activity, their multiplier effects transcends beyond the automotive sector. 
Each state government seeks to maximize economic and development benefits local through its industrial policy has caused a kind of competition between them to earn greater and better resources of foreign direct investment de derived from the installation of increasing important and large automotive firms. The, the attraction of FDI is achieving by offering facilities and tax benefits for the installation, better infrastructure in industrial park and, communi and communications, agreements with higher education institutions for the training of qualified personnel that are needed, as well as the strengthening of value chains through the development of suppliers. This com competition further dismantles national industrial policy as what should be national coordination that being left to the locals. The nearest approach to what could be considered a national industrial policy in the automotive sector in Mexico has, has been the so-called automotive decrease. 1962, its objective was, in, was to increase the volume of production and promote domestic content. 1972, its objective was to improve the functioning of markets. 1975, Mexico's trade balance was in a crisis because the export of the automotive industry were 16% of what the sector imports. 1977, it sought to transform Mexico into a, a highly competitive exporting country by opening the automotive sector to foreign investment. 1982, the Mexican economy collapsed and the deficit in the sector's trade balance exceeded $1 trillion. The process of trade liberalization for the automotive sector, 1989, trade liberalization is reinforced. 1984, entry of NAFTA. 2003, the treaty crisis suit so to increase the competitiveness of the automotive sector by strengthening the domestic market. 2008, global economic crisis and recovery of the sector, Mexico is open to importing new vehicles. There was a reduction in the percentage of national origin components destined for export and transformation of assembly companies and auto parts to greater integration and technological development expansion of its existing plants and reinforcement of the supply. 2009, it aimed at financial intermediate, intermediaries and automotive distributors to cushion the impact of the reduction of car sales in the Mexican market. 2012, strategic program for the automotive industry, 2012-2020. The robust performance of the automotive sector is mainly supported by sales abroad, export of cars and light vehicles to the United States, Canada, and Latin America account for, accounted for more than 90% of total exports. Eight to 10 of the most important automotive companies globally have at least one assembly plant in Mexico. This makes the country the fourth with the highest volume of, of exportation worldwide on behind Germany, Japan, and the United States. Our primary resource of, of information for the automotive industry at a local level was the economic censuses published by INEGI between 2004 and 2019 we selected 25 NAIX industries, among which manufacture of cars and like motor vehicles, which is the one that stands out. In 2003, its gross production was 19.5 billion, 
in 2008 and 2013, just under 30 billion. During this period, it almost did not grow due to, due to the financial crisis. After 2013, production accelerated to reach 75 billion in total gross output in 2018. Industries and genes for gasoline vehicles and manufacture of engine parts, manufacture and electrical and electronic equipment for motor vehicles and manufacture of heavy duty trucks showed an upward trend with a significant rebound in 2018 that make it possible to confirm that there is a growing specialization towards the manufacture of traditional vehicles with internal combustion gasoline engines and their auto parts. We cannot observe that the necessary transition toward producing electric vehicles taking place worldwide has begun. Graph one, average compound annual growth rate, the rate at which the industry have grown on average each year. Between 2004 and 2019, we observe that manufacturing of cars and light motor vehicles is not the one that presents the best performance. We can say, we can see that the peace average growth rate period, period corresponded to 2003-2008. In this period, the industry that short and more significant growth were manufacturing, manufacturing of seed of seat of motor vehicles and interior molding and for forging and staping, followed by industry boards for tractor, manufacturers of manufacture of bodies and trailers and manufacture of trays excitement excitement except that retreading those with negative growth in five years intervals no those with negative growth rates in 2003, 2008, were manufacturer of other communication equipment. Graph two, choose the simple growth rate for every five years covered by the economic censuses. That is the rate at which the industries between 2003, 2019 have grown in five years intervals. Value added as a percentage of gross production in graph, we observe that although, although manufacture of automobilities and like motor vehicles is the most important in terms of the value of production and sports only 27 percent corresponded to value value added in in 2018 the industries starting of the most is in in this red in this right in this weather, where manufacturer of audio and video equipment, 
manufacture of other communication equipment and all other various electric equipment and manufacture of components. Um, also already mentioned among the leading industrial policy objectives managed by the state governments give the lack of guidance at the federal level. The attraction of foreign direct investment is the goal to be achieved in this graph. We observe the foreign direct investment captured by the automotive sector as percentage of national total and its amount in million of dollars. The importance of the industry in terms of its macroeconomics indica indicators is confirmed in 2008 as a result of the final C crisis, the lowest level of offering direct investment in the automotive sector was seen when it reached 6.4% of the national total amounting to $1.8 billion, which in the face of the global recovery, it has followed an abrupt trajectory until reaching its highest point in 2018, in which the automotive sector captured 23% of foreign direct investment in Mexico, reaching $7.3 billion. Mexico, the automotive industry is organized in private associations called automotive clusters, integrated by the leading automotive firms present in the area. The joint efforts aim to promote the sector's development, growth, and competitiveness in the region, seeking to synergize with state governments and institutions of higher education, technology, and research. There are 11 automotive clusters in Mexico. We analyze foreign direct investment in those states in which the automotive sector is organized in, cl in clusters. The industries that receive the highest investment in, 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 in foreign direct investment in these states between 1999 and 2021 were 3363 and 3361 corresponding to engine manufacturing and assembly plants. The graphs in the, uh, present the variety of activities covered by the automotive industry. In some sectors, in some clusters, such as Nuevo León, there is a wide variety of industries receiving foreign direct investments. In contrast, in states such as Aguascalientes and Puebla, most activities are concentrated in the manufacture of vehicles, which could lead us to think that there is a more vertical integration of the sector in these states. When reviewing the country of origin of foreign of origin of foreign direct investment, we find that except in Puebla and Aguascalientes, where most of their investments come from Germany and Japan, the United States is the country from which most of the investment for the automotive and auto parts sector in the selected states comes. Thanks to the three free trade agreements signed by Mexico and the environment of commercial deregulation that has been generated, the Mexican automotive industry has received large amounts of foreign investment, as well as technology transfer that has allowed it to have the production, training, and communications infrastructure that this sector requires. The changes in the international environment offer a set of opportunities and threats that require a transformation of the industry in Mexico. The, the shift needed is not likely to happen by itself or to be market driven. Regulations and incentives must be implemented by authorities to develop a domestic market and policies must spur domestic investments. The industry must be prepared for new technological developments, the transition toward electrification and new mobility. The new treaty TMEC USMCA sets new rules concerning industrial relations with labor and its organization. The, the digital transformation, the development of competencies, the collaboration between the state, universities, and private firms is necessary to upskill laborers, women, and young people. 
The government must finance infrastructure construction to modernize transport and logistics, which may allow the industry to achieve sustainable employment growth and attend to environmental and social issues. The transformation will require tra strengthening governance and the reorganization of the supply chains to allow tier two and tier three firms to comply with the requirements concerning the products traceability and medium and long term impact of digital transformation. Will tier one firms internalize what cannot be certified by tier two and tier three? Does the road toward new governments go through a centralization of policy at the national level, or should it rely on local authorities competing among them to attract foreign direct investment? Thank you very much.